Spencer, an immediate return to winning ways, 3-1 home victory over Chippenham Town tonight. How big a win could that be? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a massive win. I, I, I thought first half Chippenham were absolutely magnificent in particular. I thought they were a great passing side. I thought it was Christmas, quite frankly. I thought we'd literally gone to the dark side early. Uh, it, it could have been 4-2 to them, frankly. Um, we got a gift of the first goal. Um, Jack Turner's made two or three absolutely fantastic saves. Chipping them are popping it around us for fun. We looked nervous, scared, quite frankly. The occasion got to us again. And how we do one up half time. I know, I know that we, we know, we've hit the bar. Um, but uh, I, I literally, as I said, I thought it was early Christmas presents. So I, I was. It was a balancing act at half time, what to say. They, they needed to understand it wasn't good enough. It, it, it wasn't good enough. Uh, sadly, I thought Hish had a really good 45. He was one of the brighter sparks, but he's got a knock on the same injury again. We had to take him off. And Ricky came on, who I didn't expect to play at all. And he got through it. And CJ wasn't available tonight either. <laughs> and I thought second half, we shored it up. We did shore it up. I think Chippenham had some good ball, but. Jack has now had a shot to save in the second half. I had a couple of good crosses and we've not done a lot. We've had a chance just before we scored and a, a great one to finish it off. And as I said, I, I, Chip and what they're a really good side. And you can see why they've been on such a good winning run and things went our way today. And, you know, you can see at the end there that perhaps Chip and them have, I don't want to say given up because they, they, they played some really good stuff. But you could see also that, uh, you know, we've got something to play for and we, we've done our job and we managed the second half much, much better, much better. And obviously at this stage, it is about the three points and I'm um, very relieved in another massive challenge and uh, on we go. A fantastic three points tonight. And we changed the dugouts from the main stand over to the dark side. What, what was the reason there? Well, most people know that um, I am quite superstitious, so we switch it. I, I like going to the dark side, as they say over there. Uh, very much my mood um, so I'll, I'll try anything quite frankly and as I said first half you wouldn't have expected it but um, certainly the force was with us in there in the second half and look we, we found a way to win um, I thought the fans were magnificent you know it sounds so obvious isn't it this is now going to the last minute of the season the regular season whatever happens Saturday but Saturday we sorry to sound like a broken record you know it doesn't happen very often you know we need everybody here. We need the vocal. Um, and I thought they really got us going. Because as I said, Chip and them were, I mean, it was almost robbery we were leading at half time. Um, we made mistakes though. People were, the ball was like a hot potato. People were not talking to each other. I get it, we're a really young side and we are literally no one left. We're going to have to do something about it. We're going to have to recall a couple of lads for the weekend. It's going to have to be the case. But look, we, uh, we got through it. We're still alive, we're, we're relieved, enjoy it. And as I said, second half, much more control, much, much more control. And as much as they had a lot of the ball, they didn't really hurt us second half and they ran out of gas. And let's remember they played on Tuesday. So they put in a hell of a shift, chipping them. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad, quite frankly, that we're done with them because they're, they're a really good footballing side. And so, and they've had a really good season. So, you know, it's a great club, play the fantastic way they play the football. And a, and a lot in the, particularly in the first half, we couldn't handle it. Um, but it's a lesson. We got the three points. I think on balance, just about deserved it by the second half performance. But let's not forget, Jack made a couple of fantastic saves in the first half. You know, we were so open, and it was it, everything I didn't want. It was a basketball game, which is exactly what I didn't want. When a team's got nothing to play for, it gives them the freedom. They were having keeping lads very, very high, and it caused us a lot of problems. And that that's going to happen when a team's got nothing to play for, and they're a very, very good footballing side. So. Just relieved, wake up in the morning and then realise that we're playing again in 30 odd hours. Yep, and I was so happy to see Guy Hollis on the score sheet with his first goal for the club. Felt like a goal that his performance deserved. I don't think any of us played particularly well, and I'm not trying to say it. Look, Jack Turner first half was magnificent, I thought Reggie Young, and the guys come in and done really, really well. But defensively, we weren't great today as a team. We, we, we just looked a little bit nervous, the occasion, etc. But look, Guy's come in and been fantastic. We're, we're really pleased to have Guy. Um, the place is in a fantastic uh, state at the moment. The, the fans, we had 800 odd here on a Thursday night. You know, we've got to ask you to dig deep financially as well. We do accept that. It's tough, you know, to come back in. But it's basically a pre playoff game because I don't know what's going to happen with other results. But I'm, it would be really 
unlikely in my view. Uh, doing this a long time, as we know, if we win all three, I, I, I think we'll probably make it. Um, but we've got to win all three, you know, and Taunton are fighting for their lives. Yes, they got beat badly tonight, but I've got so much time for Rob. I've been through what he's been through down there. And they won at Torquay, they won at Worthing only two, three weeks ago. They've just drawn at Braintree this week. They've drawn at Hampton and they've had their goalkeeper sent off after 15 odd minutes. So not surprisingly, they've got beat, but they're fighting for their lives. And we will actually need to play better. It'll be a very different game. Taunton will be direct. They're so strong. They've got a great spirit with all that they've been through down there. And I genuinely wish them all very, very well. Sadly, I've got to try and get a result myself on Saturday. But, uh, you know, he certainly, uh, he's doing wonders down there. And um, on we go. Yep, and it's such a tight turnaround for Saturday's home game. What does tomorrow look like for you and the players? Just a day of recovery? Well, it is, and, and, but it, it's not long enough. But lots of teams have had to do it. No fault to our own because our ground staff here have done a fabulous job. We've only lost a couple of games when it's literally been tipping it down. So, look, um, they've got to try and recover. We are bare bones doesn't even cover it um, but that's where we are financially we're not we were never going to have a big squad we're competing against clubs with you know much bigger squads that can make lots of changes won't be difficult to guess our side for saturday we'll have to reassess hish but i'd say it's extremely unlikely cj wasn't available today ricky we didn't expect to play and has not been with us this week he's had a really tough week so but what a great occasion you don't get the chance to get in the playoffs very often and you've got to really embrace it you've got to dig deep you've got to prepare well for another just massive game and as I said it's going to go this Saturday and next Saturday and we need everyone to get here get behind us as they do and let's see where it takes us. Brilliant thanks Spencer and good luck for Saturday. Thanks very much Dom.